Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been so long since I last did a vlog. I think my last vlog was the wedding one where we went to Talkworth Court and decided that we were going to go ahead with the wedding only to backtrack like two weeks later and not go through the wedding. Um, but yeah, it's been ages and I think I just needed a bit of a break because there was so much going on at home, like work was really busy, obviously coming up to qualification and stuff like that. Um, Instagram was busy and then Reese got on well and yeah, it's just been a whole host of things going on and yeah, but I'm back now. Um, I just thought that this week would be a really good week to get back into the swing of things because it is mental this week. This week is so busy. Um, so today is actually my last full day um, at work, which is insane. And then literally a week today, I will call no, a week tomorrow, I will qualify as a solicitor of England and Wales and I'm I'm really excited. It's like bittersweet because obviously I'm not going to be practicing as a solicitor. The sun is going to pop out any second now. So I'm going to move into the bedroom. Um oh my god I don't actually know what kind of state it's going to be in but we shall see. Oh no it's fine. It's fine. Um yeah, so, yeah, a week tomorrow I will be a fully qualified solicitor, which is crazy. Okay, I'm just going to pop you there. Um, but yeah, I actually worked out that it has been eight years in the making to qualify as a solicitor. I went to university and did my law degree in 2014, and now it's 2022. That's eight years and I'm not even gonna practice as a solicitor right now. One day though I will. Um, but yeah, so it's really exciting. I'm really, really proud of myself and it's like such a big achievement and yeah, I might not be practicing now, but it doesn't mean obviously I won't in the future. So yeah, it's all good. So today I've actually got like a leaving call with all of my colleagues at work and then tomorrow's a half day and I need to drop my laptop into the office, which is gonna be sad as well. Like. That's all I've known is this firm and all the amazing people in it. It's just been so amazing to learn from literally like some of the best lawyers and yeah. And then um, I'm actually on Wednesday, oh my God, another bittersweet thing. Like, I actually think that this week is going to be a really emotional week. So obviously we were meant to get married this summer. So I bought my dress last summer around August time and they said obviously it's going to be shipped from Italy. I know, fancy pants over here. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's going to be shipped from Italy and it would arrive around March time. So I actually got a call like two weeks ago saying that my dress has arrived and to come in for a fitting. However, I explained that obviously we're not going to have the wedding now this week, this year is going to be next year so I don't think there's any point in getting it fitted and I don't want to try it on I don't want to like get emotional and stuff like that right now and get worked up that it's not happening this year but I do need to go pick it up um, and keep it safe until I get it fitted next year so I actually have decided I'm going to show you a little tiny sneak peek of the dress like not the whole thing and if Reese sees this I will die so he cannot see it um but just a tiny 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 bit of it because it is just so amazing it deserves a tiny bit of exposure this year and then following that um so i'm actually getting a procedure done which i have wanted since i was probably i don't know 15. so basically i used to cheerlead um in secondary school I was obsessed with cheerleading and as I've always been quite tall I was a backstop when we did stunts like with a flyer at, like obviously holding like someone in the air and anyway one day this flyer she was called Shannon she came down like from the sky and elbowed me in the nose and now I've got like this bump here so I'm actually getting a tiny bit of filler in there just to straighten it out a little bit and I just I've just always wanted to do it um I didn't really want to go down like the surgical route um so yeah I just thought I'm gonna do that I'm gonna treat myself um and yeah hope for the best I actually got recommended to the lady that is doing it and she's um a nurse practitioner so I know I'm in a really really you know good set of hands with her um so yeah that's straight after the wedding dress 
And then what else? Oh, I think there's just so much going on. And obviously I've still got my patient Reese downstairs. So for those of you that don't know, Reese has been quite unwell. So he was he's basically got um Crohn's disease, and that sometimes means that he gets, you know, a little bit of pain in his stomach. Um so yeah, he was complaining that he had that and um I didn't really think anything of it because you know he talks about his stomach a lot and whatnot. Anyway, it got worse and worse and worse, um, and then on the Monday morning, he was like, George, you're going to have to take me to the hospital, and I was like, what? Like, he is never ill, and he never complains if he is ill, so if he's saying to go to the hospital, I know it's legit. So I took him in to the Bristol Royal Infirmary, and then they said, yep, yeah, you've got um, appendicitis, and then on Tuesday, they took it out. Um, but luckily for us, on the Monday... England actually changed their visitation rules for patients so I was able to go and see him and it was fine it was really lovely and then so yeah Wednesday he came home and then his pain I expected it to be bad but not this bad so then Wednesday Thursday Friday his pain got so bad he was he was wailing like it was that bad and I, I just didn't know what to do he was taking all of his pain medication and it just wasn't touching it um, and yeah, I was really worried. So we called the GP um, and got on like the emergency list or whatever for them to call us back. And this one doctor said straight off the bat, I think you've got this toxic, I think it's called like a toxic colon syndrome or something like that. You're going to have to get your gut removed and you're going to have to get a permanent bag fitted. And I was just in shock. And Reese, obviously, bless him, was absolutely terrified. And I just thought how... like. Like, once I kind of settled down from, like, hearing that, I was like, how can she say that? She hasn't seen you. You know, she hasn't seen any scans. They haven't done any tests. You know, you can't just tell someone they're going to have a life-changing surgery without, you know, actually knowing that for sure. So, anyway, cut long story short, we took him in to the GP. She then referred us to uh, the Newport Hospital, and then I dropped him off there. I couldn't stay because, obviously, their rules are different to England. And he had loads of scans and they were just like, look, it's not that. She shouldn't have said that. Um, and they discharged him and it's just about managing his pain now. But he is so much better, like so much better. And I'm so, so relieved because I was getting to the point where I just didn't know what to do, like to help him. Um, but yeah, obviously he's still on the mend. He's not working at the moment, which I think is driving him mad because he's one of those people that just needs something to do. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, he's fine. But obviously my hospital is still running very much so i've literally been doing everything i've been waiting on him hand and foot like everything he needs i'm there straight like straight doing everything and usually reese and i kind of share things to do around the house but i've been doing everything and i'm freaking exhausted so when he's better i'm gonna literally make him make up for it because it's needed <laughs> it's that bad no it's not um but yeah so then um yeah, what else? So then obviously we're away on holiday next Tuesday in Gambia, which would be fun. So actually this week I'm going to um, do like a pack with me kind of video. I honestly have ordered so much stuff. It's literally not even funny. I need to remind myself that I'm going away for seven days and therefore I do not need 359 outfits for day and night. That That is ridiculous. So I need to whittle it down before I do that video, and that video will probably be up before this one. Um, but yeah, so another thing that's happened this morning, right, so I don't know, um, I don't know if any of you know this, but I was just like getting ready this morning and Reese came up and he was like, George, I've got something to show you. I was like, oh God, what have you done? But basically my dad passed away 11 years ago um, this summer, and he was honestly like my bestest bestest friend and I miss him so much I think about him every single day I talk to him every day like obviously not literally um and yeah he's just amazing but a lot of our pictures are really really blurry obviously the camera quality was absolutely shocking back then and yeah there's just not a lot of realistic pictures I have of him like they're all super blurry you can't see detail anyway Reese just came upstairs and he said this he said George, I just found this picture on your Instagram. Look at this. So it's like quite blurry. I'm not sure if you can see. It's quite blurry. But I've just seen an ad on Instagram for this app. 
called Remini or something like that, R-E-M-I-N-I, -I. and he's literally sharpened it. So, in fact, I'm going to show you a zoomed in picture of my dad here. This is the picture. So, it's very fuzzy. To be fair, he was really unwell in that picture, so it doesn't look like him anyway, but it's very fuzzy. You can't see much detail, and it just doesn't look like... I, I called him daddy when he passed away, so I still call him daddy now, but um, it doesn't look like my daddy, do you know what I mean? Anyway, he put this picture in this app, and look at the detail in that now. Like, insane. And I was just lost for words. I was so choked up just now when he came in, when he came in with this picture. I was like, oh my god, it's literally like that picture was taken yesterday of my dad. It's amazing. I just can't stop looking at it. But yeah, if you've got any blurry pictures of like loved ones that you've lost or whatever, definitely try that app out. It's insane. Um, but yeah, that's my emotional talk for today. Um, I'm actually waiting on a Zara parcel because I need to do a Zara reel today. Um, but I had an email from Yodel to say it's not going to be here until later this afternoon. And I've got like a goodbye kind of call with um, like my colleagues and stuff today. So I don't know if it's going to be today. But I need to go to the post office because I've got so much things that I've ordered and they're just hideous and I need to send back. And Reese has sold some stuff on eBay. He's like a massive gamer and he collects retro games and then sells them when he has doubles. Um, apparently that's the lingo these days, but you know. So yeah, I need to do that. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this week's vlog and yeah, get comfortable, have a cup of tea and get some snacks and I will see you later. and my feet but right now I have Uggs on so you can't see but I've got pink nails and white feet. Happy Tuesday! <laughs> I finally finished my job today and oh my god it's a relief but also really sad because obviously it's the end of an era and I just love everyone I was working with. I've worked with them, I've literally worked with them for five? Four, five? Four years? I actually know at this point. But anyway, Reese and I are going out to celebrate tonight. I, at first I was like, oh, you're not really better. Like, you're not well enough to go. But he said he wants to go, so we're going to go. So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing tonight. So I've just got on these leather trousers and boot heels, which are actually from In The Style. These leather trousers, as some of you know, like my favourites are the Topshop ones, but these I was so impressed with, really, really lovely fit. And then I just got this blazer on from Miss Guide. It's like an oversized coat kind of blazer, Louis Vuitton scarf. I'm not sure where this black roll neck is, but it's like a really basic one. Um, and yeah, that's me done. It's a really casual kind of restaurant. So yeah, nothing too fancy, but yeah, I'll take you with us as well. Cause I need you to see this food. It is insane. It is so good.
So, morning. So, I am just on my way now to go to the bridal shop to pick up my dress and my veil. I actually hope they've remembered to pack. Oh God, sorry, speed bump. I hope I hope they've remembered to pack the veil because when they called me. This is probably just me overthinking, absolutely. But when they called me to say that the dress was ready, they were like, they just said the dress and not the veil. So have they remembered the veil? I don't know. I hope so, because the veil is kind of what makes it. And when you see it together, whenever that will be, I don't know, for various reasons, but there we are. Um, when you sit together you'll know why like it is like a must it has to go together um so yeah i hope they've remembered that so i need to go into bristol central bristol and then i'm going to staple hill to get that um little bump scene to and then have i sorry i just had this like feeling that i forgot to put mascara on um so yeah so i'm going to bristol first um city centre and I'm just really hoping the traffic's not going to be that bad um, and then I'm going to Staple Hill which is like 20 minutes from the bridal shop and then I'm going back the other way again to meet my mum at my auntie's house because my auntie's looking after the um, my mum's looking after no my auntie's looking after the dress um, my mum lives in a really 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 old uh, windmill so do you know what? I knew I should have bought my sunglasses. Anyway, yeah, my mum lives in a really old windmill. Um, it's obviously not a functioning windmill, but it's so, so old. And even though the dress I presume is going to come in like a, you know, a fully sealed bag, I just don't want anything, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bit like OTT there, but yeah, my, my um, auntie lives in like a newer style house, so she's gonna keep it safe and there until I need to take it back to get fitted, whenever that will be. Um, so yeah, and then my mum, oh my God. So obviously, as you know, we're going to Gambia on Tuesday, but um, it's not just Ruth and I, it's my mum, my stepdad, Mac, Yasmin, my sister, and then her little one, Daphne, who is literally like the best thing in this whole entire planet. But anyway, they're flying out tomorrow. No, is it tomorrow? Yeah, they're flying out tomorrow. So they're staying in my mum's actual villa that she's completely renovated. And then we're staying in um, like a separate villa on the complex with my mum's friend, Sarah. So she's flying out with us. Um, anyway, my mum is obviously renovating her villa. And anyway, she's taken five suitcases with her. To be fair, she is staying out there for a month, but all of her clothes, like her holiday clothes, are already there. So those five suitcases are filled with villa stuff, like lamps, ridiculous, crazy stuff that you can get there. Like, I don't know why she needs to take them, but you know, whatever. Um, anyway, so she's meeting me at my auntie's house. And she said, oh, George, she's so persuaded. She's like, oh, George, I've got so much to give you. And I was like, yeah, mum, like, that's lush, but like, what is it? Because obviously I do have to pack as well. And she's got us uh, lamps to take out there, two sets of weighing scales. And the weighing scales aren't light. I don't know why she needs two. Like, yes, there's two bathrooms in her villa, but I don't think everyone is like panicking to weigh themselves on a holiday. I'm certainly not, because I'm just like 99% like rosé at that point. But whatever, she's ridiculously OTT. I wonder where I get that from. <laughs> um, so my mum is so excited because Daphne's never been um, to Gambia before. And Yasmin, me and Yasmin have been, no, Yasmin and I have been out there together once, but that was, I'd say, I'd say like four years ago, it's before it was with Reese, so it's been a long, long, long time since we've all been on holiday together. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited for that, but no doubt my mum is just gonna be ridiculously excited out there. I swear like it's just like mum syndrome, where like they get really excited when their whole family's together and it just annoys the hell out of me. It's that bad. Yeah, it probably is. But anyway, I need to just pop in the petrol station because I've got about 12 miles left in this car. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you the dress as soon as I've got it. So yeah, hang tight. So a little bit of an update. I am in 
McDonald's drive through because I'm absolutely starving. I managed to find these sunglasses in my little side thing, um, which is handy. Oh, I need my debit card to pay for this McDonald's. I just got a sweet chili chicken wrap, no mayo meal with a diet coke um but yeah i picked up my dress oh my god absolutely stunning can't wait to show you it is oh the one word i would use to describe my dress is elegant no two words two words classic and elegant those are the words i would use as a dog barking at the mcdonald's lady in front anyway um so yeah i picked that up hold on i just need to pay Hello. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, so yeah, I picked my dress up, then I went over to Staple Hill for my appointment. So I'll take my glasses off so you can see. They took they took my um foundation off my nose. Um and oh my god, I am just so happy with the results. I'll show you up close. So the bump it's no longer and it just looks a little bit more symmetrical like I said obviously when I broke my nose it was basically from the side like someone elbowed me from the side and that's why it looked a little bit I don't know I guess it was a little bit asymmetrical but it was more so the bump that was an issue for me um and yeah the whole thing took I had like initial an, an initial consultation first and then the actual procedure but the, the consultation was longer than the procedure I would say it was like 20 minutes um, and it wasn't what I was expecting. I just presumed it would be lots of different injections, like filler injections, but it wasn't. They put like a little cannula here. You can probably see like the little red dot. Um, and they put the inject, like the needle all the way up my nose. I think that's what she did. I did have my eyes closed, but that's what it felt like. Not that I could feel it. It wasn't painful at all. Just a little bit when they injected here with the cannula. And yeah, she was amazing. Um, and yeah, like I said, it was really quick. I would say the pain was probably a one or a two. And the only reason why I say a two is because of the initial pinch. Um, but I said to the lady, I really expected it to hurt because it's your nose. Like, I I'm a bit sensitive about my nose anyway because, I don't know, it always feels a bit sensitive because of the break. Um, but yeah, it felt like, I said to her, I said it felt like, you know like you get those clothes pegs? to hang your washing up on the line it felt like someone had clipped my nostrils there that's what it felt like um but yeah she did an amazing job so i'm just gonna have something to eat now because i'm absolutely starving and then i'm gonna go to my auntie's house drop off the dress and a suitcase that my mum wants and then i'm gonna go home and clean the house because it's a pigsty basically <laughs> hiya thank you very much that's all right. Amazing. Thank you. you. Take care. Bye. yesterday and I'm so happy with it. Steph is amazing. I've known Steph for what well I met her when I went to secondary school. I don't even know what age you go to secondary school. Is it 11? Do you go to secondary school at 11? Oh my god if if that's right I've known her for 15 years that's crazy. Um, so yeah we went to secondary school together and then um, sixth form and yeah she's just salt of the earth. She's amazing and she actually just got awarded a finalist um, thing for blonde um, colouring which is amazing um, but I'll leave her Instagram page actually in the description because if you're in Bristol she is the one to go to um, but yeah I've got a few updates so I came back to get my hair done and Reese gave me a little gift I'm not gonna lie as if I haven't opened it already like sorry guys I would have loved to do an unboxing but I didn't I was tearing this bag apart basically he got me this bracelet from Fendi there which I just absolutely love just a little 
you know, well done for qualifying. Not that I'm qualified yet. That's Monday. No, Tuesday. But yeah, it was just so thoughtful. And I was actually looking at this exact bracelet the other day. So you must be stalking me. Um, but yeah, it was just a really, really nice little gesture. And then I actually popped into boots and I should have videoed it because this boots was probably the best boots I've ever been in, especially for Wales as well, because Wales, I feel like is like 30 years behind sometimes. Um, but it had like Fenty Beauty, Kylie, um, Skin, the lip kit, MAC, so much. Um, and I got some bits for holiday as well. So I just thought I'd share what I got. Some of it's like really boring, so excuse me. Um, but I got some shower gel for Reese <laughs> for holiday. Um, some mosquito spray because Gambia is so bad for it. Um, but this is the one that we used last time. It's just the, the Boots own one. Um, and it really, really worked. And then I got him some heat pads. Told you it was boring, didn't I? <laughs> um, because of his um, because of his operation, he's been having a lot of hot water bottles, and I was thinking on the plane, he's obviously not going to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, I got him some heat pads instead, some deodorant, some wipes for the room, more mosquito spray, more shower gel, and then I got. I actually used it last night when I went out. I got. A new MAC lip liner. It's shade Ruby Woo and the matching lipstick. I'll show you a little swatch of it. It's so nice. It's just like the perfect shade of red. It's not too dark and it's not too um, light. Like sometimes you get like really shiny orangey um, red lipsticks, don't you? But yeah, this one is just perfect. And it's a really matte one as well. I had one ages ago from YSL actually. And it was such a nice shade. It was very similar to this, actually, but it was just really, really shiny and I'm not really a fan of red shiny lipstick on me. It's just not the look I'm going for, to be honest. So I got that. And then I got a new Spice lip liner. Spice is my go-to, along with Strip Down. I'm wearing a Strip Down today, actually, with just a clear gloss over the top. But yeah, I always wear Strip Down and Spice all over, basically every day. Um, I got some paracetamol, standard stuff, and then I got this Kylie Skin facial oil. I used to, well, I always have used Elemis one before. I can't remember what it was called, but it was in, like a green bottle. But so many of my friends have recommended Kylie Skin. I remember back in the day when you couldn't get it in the UK, it was only from like Sephora um, abroad. They would all like chip in together and do one big order so you only had to pay like one import duty um but yeah i'm really excited to try it it doesn't have any scent to it it's just it just smells fresh rather than a scent i wouldn't say it's actually scentless to be honest i think that's a bit of a lie isn't it kylie um but it's just a very fresh smell rather than a perfume if that makes sense more paracetamol and then I got some sun cream stuff. So my mum actually worked for British Airways years and years and years ago. So she's always been in the sun, obviously, when she went flying. And she has, like, drilled it into me and my sister Yaz that we just have to protect our skin all the time. So I'm just super conscious about it. And Reese, I know he's, like, the worst for putting sun cream on. So I swear whenever I go on a holiday, I'm, like, his mum, like, lathering him in, like, factor 50. Um, but yeah, I got Factor 50 for my face. It's a Bondi Sands one. It smells amazing, this one. It's my favourite one. Love it. And then I got Factor 30 for me, Pisbuen. And then Reese the bit of a daredevil. So I got him the Hawaiian Tropic 15 and then Hawaiian Tropic 10. Um, and then this is the best after sun ever. It's the banana boat one. I think it's like £7. And I always put it in the fridge whenever I go away. Um, it's got aloe vera in it as well. So it's really soothing after a huge day in the sun. Um, and yeah, I find it just really helps to like extend my tan. It's just chef's kiss. I love it. And then I actually also had um, a delivery for a pretty little thing. So I'm going to show you what I got. To be fair, most of it is like holiday bits. I'm just gonna pack this away. Okay, 
so I'm going to show you a picture on the side what it looks like on the model I haven't actually tried any of this on yet that is my task for this afternoon but I got these white beach trousers they definitely need an iron but I really like these ones because they had a little tie detail here where you can put like a little bow on I actually did measure these up against myself I haven't put them on like I said and they they seem to be like a really good length plus they're crinkled and I'm 5'7 so yeah I really like the look of these I think I'm just gonna wear these like to the beach over the top of my bikini or whatnot um and then I got basically I checked the weather the other day on the Met Office for Gambia and it's 38 degrees 38 degrees that means that I need to basically strap ice packs to my body at all times and I realized that the other stuff I bought they were like sleeves and I don't think I would be able to wear sleeves in 38 degrees I will melt um and even in the evening like 7 8 o'clock it's still like 29 which is ridiculous um and yeah so I basically did a few bits of panic buying so I bought this sleeveless like it's almost like a swing dress it's like a mint green plissé dress with like a little knot front I just thought it'd be quite nice to chuck on but I also thought I could dress it up with some gold earrings some gold sandals and a gold little clutch or something like that and then I got these trousers whether or not I'm gonna be able to wear them because it's gonna be so bloody hot we'll see um it's almost like these texturized champagne gold trousers they're like full length ones wide leg um but they look really nice on the modern model and i thought that these would look really nice with like a white crop top um in the evening but again whether i actually wear them because of the heat is another is another story um but yeah i think they're really lovely and i think they'd be really nice with the tan as well and then i bought this green one sleeve dress I absolutely love the colour of this. I actually have a green Zara bag somewhere, which I think will look really nice with some gold earrings, gold sandals. Um, and yeah, I think that'll look really nice. And then, because obviously I'm gonna wrap up fairly warm on the plane, I was thinking that we land at three, so it's gonna be bloody boiling, like blistering. And I don't really fancy wearing a hoodie and leggings in that weather to be honest <laughs> so I basically just bought this slinky kind of midi dress um, and it's really cute actually it's got like a um, a tie up waist I did actually try this one on and it's so lovely um, it's the nicest nude colour as well so pretty um, and yeah it fits a dream I got a, um, a size 6 in this but yeah it's really lovely and just a cute little day dress really and then I got I mean again I don't know why I bought this considering it's so hot but I bought this knit dress and it's kind of like a crisscross around the waist and around the back so you can't really see but the picture will hopefully do it justice um yeah I can't really see myself wearing a knit dress in 38 degrees but we'll see um I love the colour anyway and then I got two bikinis so first up is this rust bikini how nice is that i would say with pretty little thing bikinis they are good quality surprisingly but size up on the top so like i'm a 32 c and i wouldn't buy like a size 6 or size 8 in a top like they come up super super small so i got a size 10 in this top i did actually try this on last night and it fit lovely um it's really nice and then the bottoms as well Okay, I was a bit like nervous about this at first, and you'll see why. It's got like a gaping hole in a intimate area, and I'm not sure if I want my mum to see said area, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, they actually did look really nice on. That bit comes up like quite high waisted, if that makes sense. So it's more this bit kind of comes up round above your hip bone, but yeah, the colour's really, really, really nice. Um, and what size did I get in this? An eight and they're like they're tie waist ones so it's fine and then i got this black not black brown bikini which i thought was lovely um with like the gold little hoops on it and then this bit here like wraps around which is really nice again i got a size 10 in this 
um, because they come up really small. And then the bottom is just match. It's just this bit around like the waist bit. Um, but yeah, that's what I got from Pretty Little Thing. And I've just, oh my God, like today is the day that I'm gonna pack. I've got a meeting over in um, Bristol at two, is it two? No, it's not, it's a light, it's three. And Reese is coming with me. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna try and pack. And then I'm going out with some friends tonight, um, which I'm really looking forward to. We're going to a place called, oh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, Paco Tapas. Um, it's in Bristol and it's meant to be amazing. In fact, when Reese and I went out for dinner on Tuesday, the waitress um, overheard Reese and I talking about it. And she was like, are you talking about the one in Bristol? I was like, yes. She was like, oh my God, it's amazing. You're gonna love it. And she was like talking to me about all her recommendations. And um, yeah, she said it was amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Not a Scooby what I'm gonna wear yet. Um, but yeah, so I think this vlog is gonna be quite long. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, my next video will be a pack with me video which I'm hoping to do this weekend I just need to sort out what the hell I'm actually going to pack but that's going to be a task in itself um, and then after that on Monday we're travelling down to Gatwick and staying the night there so that's when I'm going to start my Gambia vlog um, but yeah lots of coming lots more content coming on YouTube I've been so quiet recently but I'm back I really hope you enjoyed this vlog I'm sorry if it's kind of dragged on far too long but yeah this week has been so much better to do vlogs because obviously I've been able to do so much more things um, but yeah I will see you next time and have a lovely weekend when you get there <laughs>